Mike Gundy was photographed wearing an OAN shirt over the weekend while he was out fishing. Why is this a big deal, you may ask. OAN is One America News. Now, that shouldn't surprise anybody that he would be wearing uh, that shirt. This is what he said back in April, by the way, when, when he was considered the crazy person about this coronavirus stuff because he wanted positive news to come out. He believed we were going to be back on June 1st. He thought that we were going to get the roll pretty soon. And everybody else in the news media thought, it's the end of the world. Nothing good is coming out of this. Cases are still going up, da 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 He was thinking positive. This is what he said about it. I'll tell you what's funny is, I was flipping through stations and I found one. I don't know if anybody knows about this. It's called OAN. It's One American News. It was so refreshing. They just report the news. There's no commentary, no opinions on this. There's no left. There's no right. They just reported the news, and I've been watching them the last week because they're giving us the news, giving us more information, in my opinion, and some of the positives that are coming out, so that was refreshing. That's what he said on April 7th. So for him to wear an OAN shirt should not be that big of a uh, surprise. However, OAN also is incredibly right-wing, and they had a commentator on just last week that called Black Lives Matter a criminal organization. So yeah. obviously, tensions are high around this news network. So he wears an OAN shirt over the weekend. And today, the picture comes out, and Chuba Hubbard, who is his Heisman Trophy candidate running back, ran for over 2,000 yards last year. Came back to school. Yeah, came back Four to school. Going into the NFL. To play for Mike Gundy. And Chuba tweeted this out. He said, I will not stand for this. This is completely insensitive to everything going on in society, and it's unacceptable. I will not be doing anything with Oklahoma State until things change. Now, let me go on and say this. It's just a shirt. And I don't think that there's anything crazy about the shirt. Do I agree with what OAN puts out there? No. But everybody is so quick to jump to these rash decisions without ever talking things through. I personally believe that this is just going to lead to a conversation. The Mike Norvell stuff did the same thing. The Dabo Sweeney shirt, same thing, right? It leads to conversations. I don't believe that Mike Gundy is racist. I don't believe that he meant anything negative by wearing this shirt. Now, if they all have differences of opinions and he can't get his team back, well, that's a whole nother thing, right? But to immediately come out on social media and make a statement like this where you are basically boycotting football activities because your coach wore a shirt of a news organization that you don't agree with seems a little bit, a little much. Am I crazy for thinking that, Chris? Yeah, it's it's tough when when so we I I I mean I literally found this out today. I didn't I didn't know what OAN was. I guess <laughs> I guess I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's just a thing. Um but uh but yeah, so once I found out who they were, I was like, yeah, I mean, yeah, like they're kind of like a little wag job media company. Okay. Yeah. And an anchor said something that we vehemently disagree with, and we think he's just flat out wrong and it's a pretty racist statement to say that they're just a, a criminal organization I would be upset but that is I don't know I try really hard to be reasonable when it comes to some of these things and think does that entire media company believe that yeah, there's a really good chance most of them do but one of them said it uh, I, I get where Chuba is coming from okay I do Yeah, and it's strictly from the comments of that one anchor, all right? You allowed this to be said on your airs. This passed through all of the filters that you guys have, and everybody approved it and agreed with it, and I'm not okay with that. that would obviously, not, there's there's well, more than just that, right? There's more to it than just that one statement. So I don't know, that, I don't know that, but here's the thing. I don't know that there has to be more to it than that. Agreed, but I mean, what I, I'm saying I, is that news organization is known now over the past few weeks or whatever 
as being that. They are a far right wing news organization. But I don't know that it means that the coach is awful, right? No, is I know. No. Well, I mean, here's the thing. If, if these players think that they have anything in common with any of these coaches, then they're fooling themselves, yeah. okay? They just are, simply for the fact that these coaches are extremely highly compensated, okay? And these players are not. <laughs> All right, that, 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 let's, let's draw the separation line from even your, your Lovey Smiths and your, your, your other black coaches that probably came from very similar neighborhoods than most of these players, all right, and they played in the league or they played major college football, whatever, they are not that anymore, okay? Yeah. They all live in big houses and nice gated communities now because they're all highly compensated. And I'm painting with a broad brush. I don't know where all these guys live, okay? I, I have no idea. But but I'm just working under the assumption that today, today when they're when they're making seven figure, eight figure contracts, that that yeah, they they probably live a different lifestyle. So it's really hard to think this coach can really relate to me. Yeah. No, I agree. When you were broken, poor, and in college, it was one thing. You might reminisce what it was like to be me 30 years ago. But we live in such a different time today than we did then. It's just really hard to draw any comparisons to that. Um, so, yeah, do, do I think Gundy believes vehemently different than, than all of his players? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Now, before well, we get to the second half of this. He, he has forever, by the way. Yeah, no, he's always been like that. Uh, and wearing me, this shirt didn't just, they didn't just find out, oh, he. No, he's, he's talked about uh, liberals and snowflakes yes. and all that uh, when it came up to transfers back two yeah, years ago. Yeah, he's been outspoken so. using language like that for a long time. It's never bothered anybody. Uh, so. It might have bothered people. They just didn't feel brave enough to say something, and we now live in a world where, Kids feel brave now. I, I, I don't know which this is. but uh, Albert Lee Malvo on Periscope jumps in and said, uh, uh, OAN is not far right-wing. They're conservative, pro-America, not racist, not militia. Uh, they don't care about coach-relating. They just want to coach to get them to the NFL. That's a, He's talking about Gundy there. Uh, Josh Ammer on Facebook said, at work, so I shared for y'all. Y'all get it? Hey, we appreciate that. Absolutely. If anybody hey, wants to hit that share button, we would appreciate that. Um Let's see. Albert said, BFD, would an NBC or CBS shirt not be okay? Um, and then Damien said, did he wear a Make America Great Again hat too? Uh, no, he didn't wear uh, a MAGA hat. He did not wear that. Um, you know, I, look, obviously, we're not going to get on one side or the other here. Um, Damien said, what news media ever or did not ever pick sides? I hope I said what he was meaning there. Uh, and then the Brown Yeti said, so... Uh, are we going to botch anything that I don't agree with? Um, and then Albert said he had a mullet, uh, mullet forever. I don't know that a mullet necessarily means he's one thing or another, but, uh, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so, look, it, the Brown Yeti's saying, so are we just going to botch anything that I don't agree with? I think that's kind of what social media has, has turned this into. Now, what I do want to discuss when it comes to Gundy is... On the other side of this, like, we can talk about Chuba and whether or not he should be boycotting or whatever. The other side of this is, Mike Gundy, be smarter. Like, read the room and understand what is going on in this country right now. You lead a group of about 100 young men between the ages of 18 and 22, 23, right? Understand what is happening with the majority of your football team and... Choose to leave the shirt in the drawer at the house, even if you're going fishing. Like, it's a dumb decision to go out and wear something that could yeah. even remotely be considered controversial. That's the biggest problem that I have right here. Why would you ever decide to pick that up and wear it's It's Dabo wearing the Football Matters shirt, right? Like, yeah. there's no reason. You've got other attire. Put on something else for right now. The timing is not good for that shirt. Just, it, I'm not saying get rid of the shirt. I'm saying yeah. just don't wear it right now because it has the potential to Here's divide the thing, you're, your team. You're, you're asking him to care about these things. He doesn't. But he has to if he's going to lead 
men that are 18 to 23 years old, and the majority of which are black, that probably are not going to agree with him. And I understand that he shouldn't have to care about it, but he does have to care about it, especially right now. It is the timing of the situation. I think you can at least agree with that, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's not a good look. I mean, but Gundy, Gundy just hasn't given a damn what anybody thinks ever. Yeah. I I, I mean, I, I kind of thought if there was going to be one coach that pushes back on, you know, this super player mentality, uh, um, um, kind of empowerment that's going on right now. Yeah. And uh, it, it, what we're seeing in college sports, it wasn't going to shock me if it was going to be him. He just doesn't seem like he cowed down to anybody. No, and I don't know that he's going to in this situation, which... I don't either. I mean, yeah, he, you know, we'll see. Him and Chuba could have a conversation. It could end up being Chuba transfers and or walks away. That's fine. That could happen. Uh, Chuba could... L- lead a lot of other of the black players and a lot of his recruiting class could take a hit. Oklahoma state will then have to make a decision on, is this good for our school? Is it not? And all of these things will be decisions that people have to make, but they're all going to stem from what does Mike want to do? Because he does have a right to wear the damn shirt. I mean, yeah. And if he wants to come out to his players and say, okay, I made, uh, I made a mistake. That's or, not going to happen. Or that's, whatever. That, that's or at least gonna, explain. They might have an intelligent conversation that we'll never hear. That's the, what uh, I'm going the, for. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to hear any of it. But but I will bet everything I know that when he walks in that room, it will not start with, I made a mistake. That is just not the Mike Gundy that I have known and watched forever. Yeah. No, you're right. Let's, uh, let's get to some more of these comments here. Uh, Albert said, good topics, nice scope here. Uh, William jumps in on YouTube. This is the first time, I think, for Albert and William. William said, poor Gundy, such a sad job it is to coach for the Stadies, LOL, Boomer. So we got us an Oklahoma guy in here, it looks like. Uh, Albert said, yep, supercharged environment right now. And then he asked if he missed our insight on the Iowa situation. That is coming up immediately after this. Uh, The Brown Yeti said, everything is controversial nowadays. He has no reason to back down. Uh, Chris was just saying that, yep. And William Brown said, remember when Tyreek Hill played for Oklahoma State? Gundy never cares for the opinions of others. Future NFL stud gets in trouble and he's gone. Gundy is his own man. Yeah, I can I can believe that. So we'll see what happens in the situation because I think Oklahoma State has one hell of a team this year. They've got a lot of talent coming back, um, and we'll see. I mean, I, I don't believe that they're going to fire him over this. But if you lose your locker room, yeah, I'd, if you lose the locker room, you're going to get fired next year. And now, it won't be it won't be because of the T-shirt. No, it it'll be because he it'll and his be because team you're not agree. you. You have taken yourself out of the ability to do the job. You cannot, you can no longer lead these men. Correct. Correct. He's got that's, that's like the number one qualification to be a coach. Is you must be able to lead these people. Yes. Yes, you are correct. All right. So that being said, let's dive into the next topic.